this isn't Bear Grylls. This is Dean from Leisure Travel Vans. We're in the Canadian Shield in on Northern Ontario. And today we're having a look at the 2019 Unity CB. And I can't wait to show it to you. Hopefully there's no bears around me at all. How is this for a great campsite? I fit in between a couple trees here because I can, because this is the 2019 Unity CB. Only 25 feet, one inch long, 710 wide. It's got a great little slide out. Under 10, six in exterior height, sleeps four. Big private bathroom area, stand up shower, big galley. Let's have a look at this dream machine right now. Let's start off with a brand new feature on all 2019 Unis, the carefree legless awning with wind sensor. Very important, turn your wind sensor on, hit the button, and out she comes. How is that for an awning? Plus, we still have the beautiful LED lights built into the awning. Over 12 feet in length, seven feet wide. What a great use of space. Keeping out of the sun, underneath the shade. I mean, it's beautiful. Today, 92 degrees where we are right now. I need a little shade. Plus, it also has the wind sensor, so we're gonna simulate that. Watch this vertical, you're gonna love it. The wind blows and the awning automatically goes back up. I don't have to worry about it, but always leave that wind sensor on. And I love the LED lights are on the outside of the awning, so they provide a little night light. You're gonna love the interior. First of all, look how smart this little design is. I can actually take off my shoes, and I have a shoe area, put them in there. I don't leave them in the step well. I'm not gonna fall out of the motorhome. Now that is smart. Come on in, you're gonna love this motorhome. The Unity CB is very unique because have a look right now. The motorhome is fully functional. I can go to bed, I can work in the galley area, I can watch TV, I can sit up front, and then when I want some expandability, have a look at this. Simply press the button and I expand the motorhome out for more living room space. How great is that? You could be moonwalking in this baby. I mean, like, this is pretty cool. Look how much room we have. This is our standard dinette. We also offer an optional U-Lounge, which has a nice living area space. It also has one seat belt in the U-Lounge. The standard dinette has two seat belts, one here and one there for carrying four people. This also makes into a little bed area. Let's talk about all the beautiful interior wood colors that we have. This is done in the maple. We also have cherry and the espresso. We have two glamour packages, white and gray. That's the Fenix uppers. I love the rope lighting, that's standard. We've gone to ultra leather on the valences. It looks great. We have three different colors of ultra leather. This is the fog. We also have pebble and coal. A couple other little features, we have daytime, shades with built-in shade holders look at that so I can have my awning windows open and have fresh air coming in or privacy at night and they lock in place and I can still have the windows open I love the big picture window looking into our campground area and awning style windows as you can see here I can open and close them I can have them open if it was raining outside and still have some fresh ventilation I love the LED or rope lighting in the cabinets it looks great and speaking of the cabinets look at this beautiful curved doors above the dinette area I've got lots of storage we're in full camping mode we're out using this unit so I've got lots of stuff in here look how deep the cabinets are fits a full-size plate Look at that, fits right in there. Lots of room, of course, I've got the diet chips, which is important to have, and soft clothes. Look at that, how they lock in place. And once again, two different glamour packages. This is the Fenix white, you can also have the gray. European hidden hinges, and the soft clothes latches locks right in place. See, for dinner, for food, makes into a bed. Also, I can work on my laptop, work on my iPhone, read books. USB connections right here, one amp and two amp charger. We also have a 110 plug right here for plugging in. Look at this for storage. Underneath the dinette, great use of storage space. Look at that, huge storage area. On this side, even more storage area.
So now I can also make it into a bed. If you have some extra guests that you need to sleep, look how simple that is. So very simple to make it into a bed. All the cushions just lay right down make into a nice beautiful bed area once again all done in ultra leather which is a synthetic man-made leather doesn't get hot doesn't get cold doesn't crack doesn't mold doesn't mildew so grab me a pillow and off the bed i can go so also makes it a great little day bed you can also use a great little bed for children grandchildren a couple of guests that are coming with you super comfortable and you have quite a bit of room here too no problem sleeping two people but let's have a look at the rest of the motorhome. Look, once again, I cannot believe how much space we have in a small motor. Once again, we're only 25 feet, one inch, 710 wide, but with the slide out, it feels absolutely huge. You can see the driver passenger seats swivel face forward into the motorhome. We have a nice little option for our front table right here, which is great. So you can have dinner for four over there. Another two guests come over right here. I can have dinner. This is a great option to have this little table here. As you can see, you can have coffee in the morning if people were sleeping or you wanna watch TV, work on my laptop. And you can see I can have coffee in the morning. And speaking, now look at this, Leisure logo cups. We've got a beautiful little leisure store on our website. You can dress the part as well and have some coffee in the morning. I love how the chairs swivel into the motorhome, become part of the motorhome, not bumping my head when I'm moving in and out. Flat floor pretty much all the way across the motorhome. Ultra leather, French stitching, synthetic man-made leather. It doesn't get hot, doesn't get cold, doesn't mold, doesn't mildew. Three different ultra leather colors for 2019. We have the fog. We also have the pebble and the coal. I can watch my favorite movie, Gravity. And I love the brand new swivel on the TV. Look at this, how simple you can watch TV in the back, you can watch TV from the side, I can watch TV up front, so what a great swivel we have. Plus the 2019 Unity CB has two TVs, one up front and one in the bedroom area if you like to watch TV in bed. So to run this wonderful Gravity movie, I've got a DVD player, of course the brand new Jensen stereo system, this is kind of my entertainment system, so CD player, DVD player, streaming Bluetooth, it's got a couple of plugins here, we've got a, an auxiliary port, we also have an HDMI plug, a USB plug, four speakers, two in the front, two in the back, and I can set my different speaker zones right here, so beautiful little system, it runs on 12 volts, so it doesn't need 110 power to run, so you can be dry camping, listening to music, you don't have to be plugged in. And speaking of dry camping this beautiful park that we're in we've got a couple little solar panel options we've got 200 watt solar panels or 400 watt solar panels great little option goes on the roof they're flex panels they lay flat on our fiberglass flex roof the controller system is right here in this compartment and speaking of compartment look how much storage space we have here once again european hidden hinges look how these just lock in place this cabinet up here, we've got our optional safe. Nice little option to have. You want to keep your passports, any type of uh, currency or rings or anything you want to store them in, you can lock them there. And once again, up here, more storage area. So great use of storage above the cab area. Very smart. And look at this, this is where I run all of our systems. So we have two different TVs in this motorhome. So we have a switcher box, so I can watch a movie here, TV back there. I can watch TV here, movie back there. Also, optional satellite dish. We're always pre-wired for satellite on the roof and pre-wired for satellite dish on the ground if you have a portable dish. We also have a great option called the T4 Wine Guard dish. It does bell, direct, and dish. So three different receivers. And you can see this is where my receiver sits because we're all hooked up with satellite on this one. It's also got an HDMI plug if you want to run a PlayStation or a Blu-ray player or plug anything HDMI. So here we got some coax connections up in here. And standard for 2019 is the WineGuard 2.0 Wi-Fi booster with 4G capability. You would turn that on right here. It also has a digital TV antenna and a radio antenna. So when you want to turn on the digital TV antenna, you turn it on here and that's a booster. We also have an inverted 110 plug there for plugging everything in so that you can run it off the inverter if you're dry camping. Look at this. Beautiful little storage back in this area. Keep your keys, place to hang your jackets. And look at this, big, beautiful hanging closet, lots of wardrobe hanging area. So look way up here, of course, six foot five interior height, insulated roof, fiberglass flex roof, vacuum bonded as well, ducted air conditioning through the entire motorhome, very important, all the way from the back, all the way up here, LED lights running through out the entire ceiling, and our beautiful opening skylight, look at this. Here we are, look at the beautiful spruce trees. Wow, what a great camp area we have here. Of course, we are in the Canadian Shield in Northern Ontario. So we're gonna have some black flies and perhaps some mosquitoes. I can block that out and still get fresh air. 
Today, when it's 96 and the sun is pounding down on me, I'm gonna have that open and keep the sun from coming into the motorhome. What a beautiful combination of colors in this motorhome. We have the maple with the white glamour package. Oh, it looks good. It looks open, looks big. We're just above the galley area. Look at this. Like I said, we're in full camping mode, so we've got this one loaded up. Full-size plates fit in there. Look at the cups. We've got lots of storage space, 12 inches deep. And of course, curved cabinets, very nice. European hidden hinges, soft close. Look at that, how it closes in place. But you know, when you're looking at RVs, you wanna make sure you've got big cabinets because you gotta store stuff. LED track light underneath. We got our beautiful ultra leather valences. The big picture window with awning style windows so they can open and close for lots of fresh air. I mean, it looks great. You're gonna like this feature right here. Nice two burner spark ignition stove. Look how fast that fires up. Boom, we're full to making coffee or tea in the morning. Make sure that when you turn them off that they're off. Make sure it cools down before you put the splash guard down. We don't wanna crack the glass. And speaking of this, look at this. Solid Corian countertops. Two different colors, Antarctica white and carbon. Look fantastic. Deep stainless steel sink. Chrome faucet. I love the accessory channels right here so I can hang things. Stainless steel splash guard, inverted 110 plug. And of course, what galley was not complete if you don't have storage space, look at this. Great little area here for SOS pads, cleaning rags right there. Look at this, nice area here for utensils, full drawer extension glide, solid wood. I love how everything closes, look at this, we are fully loaded. Pot and pan drawer, absolutely, right? Where are you gonna put your pot and pans? Right there. And look underneath here, more storage space. Cleaning supplies, I'm in charge of cleaning when we're RVing, so I gotta bring my cleaning supplies. Easy access to the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. That old place for a garbage can. Easy access to the water pump. Look at this beautiful curved door. I mean, locks in place, listen to that. We also have new handles for 2019. I love the chrome, they look great. So right above the stove area, we've got our fantastic fan. This one has the optional rain sensor. It's a great feature to have. Automatically opens, set your temperature, set your fan speed, it runs on 12 volt because we're dry camping, so we want to conserve power, so I'm not gonna be running my air conditioner. Boom, it comes on, it's gonna pull up all the air out of the motorhome. So what galley wouldn't be complete without a pull-out pantry? And look at this, this is a pull-out pantry. And look guys, I'm taking care of myself, I'm eating skinny popcorn, but I have Pop-Tarts. I mean, I've got all the camping essentials. And above the pantry, another little storage area, so you kind of have two pantry areas. On the other side of the galley, we've got our beautiful convection microwave, nice big microwave, so standard microwave. It'll also bake and cook. Very important, always preheat the convection part before you start to bake in it. That's an important little feature that one of my customers told me. We are RVing in one of what we call our prototype motorhomes, and we are testing out some pre-production options and features in these motorhomes. Now they're hanging closets, so two hanging closets, one up front, one at the back and pull out drawers, full drawer extension glides. Once again, solid wood and more storage back in this under part area here beside the fridge. Wow, that is great. Back into the bedroom area, look at the beautiful rope lighting speakers in the back, ducted air conditioning, and look at the storage space. We're RVing and look, we haven't even filled these cabinets yet. Once again, 12 inches deep, European hidden hinges, curved cabinets. I love the glamour package with the white. Back in this area here, more storage area. I mean, I don't think you could fill this full. It's incredible how much storage room we have. Great feature about the Unity corner bed, two sleeping areas, one up front, and of course a beautiful corner bed in the back. Look at this, lots of room. I'm over 6'1". We have what, 76 inches, 77 inches of length back here, so I can fit comfortably in here, and you can see it's quite wide, so two people easily could sleep on this bed. You could uh, read a book, work on your laptop. We've got USB plugs here. I've got a little place to plug in my phone. I've got separate lights here for my LED lights in my cabinets up above and my LED lights up in the ceiling. I can dim them as well. And I love the picture windows. So I have lots of beautiful sunlight. Look at a great campground area, awning style window. So some nice fresh air coming in. I got the ultra leather on the valances and look at this, ultra leather on the headboard. Looks spectacular. Also, we've got our daytime shades and our nighttime shades. And once again, with the holders built right in so I can actually have the windows open, have some fresh air. 
knock it back up for some natural sunlight. I mean, what a beautiful use of space. Plus, if I want to watch TV, look, I've got a bedroom TV. You can see we've got a shelf up above. Keep my remote so I don't lose it. Privacy curtain comes right across, blocks off the bedroom area. Privacy. Sleeping for two, nice big bed, but also storage underneath the bed. So great storage area underneath the bed for extra bedding and also easy access to your water pump and your water tank. I'm still totally impressed about how much room you have in a unit corner bed. A private dry three piece bathroom with curved door, stand up shower. Once again, I'm six foot one. Look how much room I am. Six, seven to the top. I've got a skylight. Look how beautiful it is. You can see all the beautiful spruce trees all around me. LED lighting. Also a great little clothesline for drying off your clothes and letting them drip dry into the shower area. Private shower door. Handle for getting in and out. We've integrated our shampoo holders, soap holders. Over here we've got our shower head. On off switch to conserve water. Very, very smart. Just a great big stand up shower. Also, nice little vanity, stainless steel sink, chrome faucet, and you can never go wrong with solid Corian countertops. Storage underneath, full water filtration right there, easy access to that, great place for some extra storage. We've got an on-off switch for the water pump, so in, if you forgot to turn on your water switch at the main water switch, you can turn it on here. GFI plug right there, plus nice little dressing mirror. Also, a medicine cabinet up here, place here to hang your towels. Also, a beautiful porcelain china toilet with the bowl washer built right in and up above this one has another fantastic fan this has the optional rain sensor so once again if the fan was running it were to rain it would automatically close and i really love the curved door and i'm in the maple stain Man, what a great floor plan, the Unity 2019 Unity CB. Big bed, big stand-up dry bathroom, not a wet bathroom, you have to sit on the toilet. Big fridge, big microwave, look how much space we have. Big galley, lots of storage space. A couple different options, standard booth or optional U-lounge. So what powers this beautiful Unity corner bed is the Mercedes-Benz 3500 series cutaway chassis. And of course we order the Mercedes-Benz swivel seats. Look how easy they are to swivel. Pretty much flush floor or just a small step down. We've got a nice carpet, line carpet area here with rubber backing so it doesn't slip all over the place. The seat is incredible. Look how far forward it can go and look how far back it can go. I have a 34 inch inseam. I can't touch the brake pedals when I have it all the way back. That's pretty cool, so I have to actually bring it forward. You also have Recaro support on your back here. You can move the chair up, you can move the chair back, you can drop the chair up and down. So I mean, you can find the perfect position when you're driving, because when you're driving, you're gonna absolutely love it. 188 horsepower, 325 foot-pounds of torque, fantastic fuel economy, five-speed automatic transmission. She rolls down the highway. You can gear shift up and down, up hills, down hills. We order a bunch of options for Mercedes-Benz on all of our Unity models. It's very important. You can see the control center right here, that front collision impact assist, lane assist. We have the Bizeon headlamps, fog lights, chrome grill. We have auto lights, auto windshield wipers. So lots of important features. You want to make sure that you have those on the Sprinter chassis because we want you safe when you're going down the road. See, is you can actually have your emergency brake locked in place and just push the handle down it stays locked then when you want to unlock it you push it all the way down so I really like this so that way you can still use your swivel bases so you can lock it in place just push it down swivel bases still work that is super smart of course you've got telescopic steering tilt steering you've got air conditioning power windows power locks power mirrors all your standard features we run the Mercedes-Benz audio system backup camera, navigation system, streaming Bluetooth. You've also got a nice USB charging port here for your phone. We also have an auxiliary plug here if you wanna run an additional music source. You can also download all your music on an SD card. It plugs in right there and runs off your stereo system as well. All the controls work off that stereo system so I can change radio stations, move volumes up. I can also find out what's going on in the motorhome, check my DEF levels. You can also switch from kilometers to miles per hour, digital on the dash so all the control systems right here and you never have to take your eyes off the road panoramic view on the unity models clear aerodynamic 
fun to drive. So we have some reading lights, storage up above here. We have a little mirror there. We have drink holders, drink holders up here, drink holders in the doors, 12 volt charger. And look at this 12 volt charger here. Nice little glove box here. We have a two year program that we have for roadside assistance on leisure travel vans when you buy them. So you have maintenance, uh, if you lock yourself out, fuel supply, if you need fuel, you run out of fuel, they'll come and do that. Towing assistance, tire assistance, that's all free for the first two years. And you can join our My LTV once you own one. Service advisories, we have walkthrough videos for you. So you can join a leisure travel club. We have calendar contests. So My LTV, check it out on our website. It's absolutely fun for all of our owners. I love the cab area. Look how much room I have for moving from the cab. At night, we've got a blind and a little magnet here that locks it in place. So I don't have any sunlight coming in in the morning if I want to stay in and sleep. We have guests up front. Nice little feature to have. And above here, we've got our service center. A brand new option for 2019 on all Unity models is the four point leveling system. It's all automatic. You press a button, it will automatically level the coach with four leveling jacks. A couple of things that you have to do, you have to have your emergency park brake on, you have to have the ignition turned off, and then you hit auto level, it will automatically level your motorhome. Great option for 2019. We also have the other option if you want to have just the stabilizer jacks, where we have two stabilizer jacks that stabilize the motorhome. Once again, all automatic. Don't panic. If you turn on the ignition, they will automatically come back up. This button here is our slide out switch for bringing the slide out in and out. Always be looking at the slide out when you're bringing it in and out. All 2019 Unity models have the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. This is the control center, so you can set it to Comfort Plus. You can have it on Eco, which doesn't heat that hot water tank. We can have it off, we can also have it on winterize, and we can also have it on clean. That's all done right here. This is where our control center is. So our batteries right now, we're dry camping, so we're at 12.2, so we're getting a little low, but the sun's coming up. The solar's gonna recharge those house batteries, which is great. Fresh water tank, we've got 40% full. Gray water tank's empty, black water tank is empty, and we have 61% of propane in our propane tank. We also have a water pump here, switch here for turning on your water pump, because once again, we are dry camping, so I'm gonna be using my fresh water tank for taking showers and using the bathroom, I wanna turn my water pump on. Another great option, generator from Onan, we go 3.6 kilowatt or 3.2 kilowatt. Generator is very important, very simple, hold the button, on the stop button, you're gonna see it flash. That means it's primed, and then you turn it on right here. And you can see how simple it is to turn on. We've also got an hour meter here, so look, that will can tell you how many hours you've been running your generator, and that dictates when you're gonna be doing oil changes. So we have an inverter, so when we're, last night, my favorite movie, Gravity, so I'm running it off the house batteries. So uh, when we turn on the inverter, the house batteries flip over to 110 power. We have inverted plugs. You can run a small coffee maker. We have our two deep cycle six volt batteries nicely hidden underneath here. Here's our breaker box with our fuses right here. We have a lit handle for coming in and out of the motorhome, all done in ultra leather. All of our control switches are here. You can see it's a three-way switch. So I have outside, outside light handle, and then inside handle. This is my step lock, so I'm in camping mode right now, so when I close the door, I don't want the step going in and out all the time, so I can lock the step in the out position, turn on the ignition, it will automatically go back up. And I like this, rope lighting is standard on all 2019, regardless if you order the Glamour package or not, so people love the rope lighting in the cabinets, it looks beautiful, it's all LED lighting. And this is my outside, compartment lights that turns them off and on and my outside service center so at nighttime if you happen to get in late into the campground area turn this on you can plug in your water and your electrical plugs we have a brand new switches for our led lighting as you can see it's all done there and it's also got dimmer switches built right in nice screen door and we've got aluminum bracing in here to keep the pets inside the motorhome when you're doing some serious rving going for long periods of time you need some storage space let's talk about some storage nice little storage area here once again all galvanized sheet metal they won't uh, rust, they won't get damaged. The beautiful curved fiberglass door. See how they wrap underneath the motorhome, lock in place, built in strut so it's not going to hit you on the head, but great little storage area there. And I love how they just lock in place. In all of our storage compartments, we spray foam them all so all these little stones when you're bouncing down the road are not going to damage the galvanized sheet metal. You can see the curved wall and of course the full body paint. Each color is painted three times and then two coats of clear so there's no exposed fiberglass gel coat. This this is all paint. Plus for 2019, we have seven exterior colors. Eurosport, white suede, champagne, denim, 
Bordeaux, silver, and graphite. So seven different exterior colors. You're gonna have the motorhome color of your dreams. Great option to have on the 2019 Uni models is we have keyless fob entry so we can lock the motorhome and I can double click and unlock the motorhome right here. As you can see, we've got our step in camping mode. So when the door closes, so now I turned off camping mode, the step goes up. Now, because we are camping, I don't want the step going in and out every time I open and close the door. You can see it stays in lock position, which is great. Beautiful handle with an LED light built into it. We also have an LED light right there, so I can have the light on high or the light in the handle. Plus, we have the LED lights in the awning, which storage is important. Beautiful galvanized sheet metal, super strong. And right here, we've got our inverter, 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Very important, it's pure sine wave because that way all of our electronics, we're not gonna damage it when we switch the inverter on on, turn the batteries over to 110 power. Once again, love the way the doors wrap around underneath the body. As you can see the beautiful curved wall, this is all vacuum bonded. So this is a fiberglass exterior skin, two pound density polystyrene, aluminum studding throat, and then we vacuum press that between eight and 21 pounds per square inch. So it's a super strong wall, super insulated wall. We've got our beautiful, sexy, frameless glass windows, awning style, so they open up. Once again, if it was pouring rain outside, I can still have ventilation in the motor room. Can be super hot outside and you want to have some fresh air coming in right here we've got the standard on all unity models the truma aqua go comfort plus hot water heater it has this little reserve tank so when you have it on comfort plus it'll heat that one liter of hot water we have separate lines running to each faucet the kitchen the bathroom and the shower so when you turn on the hot water it starts to use this one liter of hot water by the time that happens the heat exchangers are nice and hot and you have continuous hot water 110 electrical plug on the outside fiberglass fender skirt very nice and nice little option alcoa aluminum rims we go with six both duals on the back and on the front also you can check your inner and outer tire pressure so alcoa aluminum rims they look great we have our 16,000 btu furnace so now we were always talking about storage because it's so important but look at this now this is some serious storage once again we are we're in full camp mode so I've got it loaded up but there's a big storage bin it goes nice and deep over here barbecue a couple sets of clubs and speaking of barbecue we got an RV quick connect right here for plugging in your barbecue so I can carry my portable barbecue and I can run it off the main 15 gallon propane tank that's super smart but I don't know if you can see all this but there is a ton of storage area in a unity corner bed i also love the double strutting of the door look how it flies all the way up and it's not going to fall down and hit me in the head nice big beautiful door and look how once again it just curves up underneath the motorhome and ties into our beautiful curved wall that's a unity that's an iconic look nothing else looks like a unity driving down the highway as we work our way around to the back of the unity you can see the beautiful full fiberglass rear mass very important where our company is vertically integrated we build everything ourselves beautiful contoured fiberglass rear mass we've got our integrated backup camera led lights separate mask from bumpers so if somebody were to damage your bumper you can just replace the bumper part led lights and our park lights and our driving lights we have a receiver hitch you can tow up to 5,000 pounds so the gcwr on a mercedes-benz chassis is 15,250 pounds minus your wet weight seven pin connector if you want to tow a car or a boat four point leveling jacks auto press touch the button automatically level so beautiful our outside service center on the driver's side once again fiberglass door built-in struts everything is right here we have our winter rising bypass valve we have our cable connection if the campground has cable plug it in you've got cable we also have pre-wire satellite dish for a portable satellite dish pre-wire for satellite dish on the roof we actually even have a satellite dish that you can get now t4 from wine guard exterior shower hot and cold running water right here great little feature to have if you got the beach pets you want to wash out you can have a shower outside if you want we've also got our water fill comes up through here locks into there and you can then close the door and you forget oh i forgot to turn on my water pump boom i can turn it on right here another nice feature here propane disconnect so when you're filling up your propane tank just press the button turns off the propane if you're going through a tunnel or you're going on a ferry just touch the button turns off the propane we also have a black water flush and our propane can fill is right here we also have our black water and our gray water remember you always dump your black water first then your gray this one has the optional macerator pump so i can actually pump uphill make sure you take off this little cap because if you don't you're going to have a scene from that movie rv with robin williams great little option to have macerator pump runs on 12 volt too even if you order the optional 
macerator pump, we still always supply the three inch dump for manually dumping as well. We have our shore power connection, 30 amp shore power. So we're dry camping this week. So we have a couple great options that you can put on that vacuum bonded fiberglass roof. We've got 200 watt or 400 watt solar panels. So we're allowing the sun to trickle charge our house batteries because we're not using shore power. And here's our vents for our three way fridge. Underneath the slide out, we have a great storage compartment. Here's our 30 amp shore power cable line. And over here, we have a great option. You can have two different choices. You can have 3.6 kilowatt propane generator or a 3.2 kilowatt diesel generator. That it's 96 to 100 degrees right now. If I want to cool that motorhome down, I want propane or diesel running that big 15,000 BTU air conditioner to keep me cool when on a super hot day. Look how stealth we are. You cannot even see that I've got a big slide out here. You don't need to put the slide out. You can still be fully functional. You can still sleep up to four people in the motorhome, drive up to four people in the motorhome with the standard booth. Now this is a beautiful slide out. This box is built just like the main motorhome. Aluminum studs welded, vacuum bonded, two pound density polystyrene, aluminum frame roof, aluminum frame wall, steel frame floor. The whole floor on the Unity motorhome is steel frame, vacuum bonded, very important, but you can see how strong it is. You can see the curvature of it, and you can see how many screws here tie it all together. I mean, it is well built. This is how you build a slide out box. Slide topper awning, very important. You can see we're out in the middle of the wilderness. Bird droppings, pine needles, they could easily come into the motorhome with the slide topper awning that prevents that from happening. Sexy frameless glass windows, awning style, nice big picture window looking into my campground area. You can see our beautiful integrated body design. You can see how we've integrated the diesel fill. I love this part because I can fill up my diesel, no fumes going into the motorhome. When I close the door, completely locked. Fiberglass running board ties into the body design. If you're in a tight, tight little campground area like we are now, I can push in my mirrors. We're 710 wide. Also nice little feature is the courtesy light. And of course I love, love, the Mercedes-Benz swivel seats. As we work our way to the front of the motorhome, what a beautiful design. Look at the aerodynamics, full fiberglass front mask up here. You can see this fully insulated as well, super strong, easy to clean. And of course we power the Unity models with the Mercedes-Benz 3500 series cutaway chassis. 188 horsepower, 325 foot-pounds of torque, five-speed automatic transmission, fantastic fuel economy, lots of power, 170 inch wheelbase. You can tow up to 5,000 pounds. I like the step here for cleaning my windshield because you want to make sure you keep your camera nice and clean. In here is our three liter V6 turbo diesel engine. So this is a clean running diesel runs DEF, so we're gonna have a less impact in the environment. The warranty on the motor is five years, 100,000 miles or 160,000 kilometers. One little trick, make sure if anybody's checking your motors that they, when they bring the hood down, make sure that you push this in to lock the hood down nice and easy. Thank you very much for watching the 2019 Unity CB video. I mean, you're gonna absolutely love this motor. If you're looking for something small, stealth, multiple seating, four seat belts, big galley area, lots of living space, with the optional generator, you can dry camp anywhere that you want. If you've never seen a Unity CB in person, you gotta go and see your local leisure travel van dealer. Take one out for a test drive. You're gonna love the Mercedes-Benz chassis and you're gonna love the leisure travel van motorhome. I am so excited. I'm gonna jump off the dock. Dean from Leisure Travel Vans. configure your leisure travel van today. We have build in price. You can compare floor plans. You can pick colors of exterior, interior wood colors, leather colors. Plus you can pick all of the options and you can price it out and know exactly what you're getting in your leisure travel van.